This is Hip Hop Weekly reporting live with Marquis Moore. Yo, yo, what up? We good, man. We good. How you? I'm lit. I can I see. Lit. How you doing? I'm, I'm good, man. I'm That's good. What's up. So, what's up? you know, I see you doing your thing, man. I watched Shots Fired. That Thank was you. recently out Thank there. You. you played. Thank you. You know, I have to feel like, yeah. Thank um, you. and then another um thing that you also do, I see that you went to writing books and art too, like with Absolutely. music. Absolutely. Um. I mean, I think when you're an artist, that's kind of like a, a one to put yourself in one category would kind of be doing yourself an injustice, because artists are kind of multi-talented. They can do multiple things. You know, I know Chris; he's a painter. On some of his off time, I've seen some of his work. It's amazing work. You know, I know a lot of actors that are amazing musicians or amazing, you know, singers or rappers. So, like, look at Drake. Or Ice T, Ice Cube, you know, Ludacris. It's me, too many of the names. So, uh, Childish Gambino. So, with that being said, yeah, I, I kind of do all of that. Um, I've always done all of that. It's just now time for the world to see. Well, tell us a little bit of the work you're doing with your music. Because I've seen that you are recording. I heard a couple of your songs and all right. that. And I feel like you're a dope artist. Right. But tell us about that and what um, can they expect? I never stopped doing music. I've been doing music for like, since I was like 11 years old. I've always been recording, like every year of my life. Except when I was incarcerated. That's probably the only time I couldn't record, but I was writing. Um, I just think now I figured out that it's not just about me. And I can share my gift with other artists. So I'm really interested in like writing and doing a lot of writing for R&B artists. Um, for some reason, I've been doing a lot of work with female artists. I guess I broke so many hearts <laughs> that I got damn know, know what hurts y'all the most. That's fucked up. But for some reason, my shit is going with female you know, female singers and rappers. So um, that's been something I've been really honing in on. That's my writing. And you know, hopefully I'll have some pub checks coming this year because I got some projects that's in the works. Okay. Yeah, say no names, but we talking pub, baby. You know? You did. <laughs> they going to call me Split Sheet Keats next year. You did. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's yeah, up. yeah, yeah. It's amazing seeing your growth. You know, Thank I, you. I seen you doing your thing at the um, AAMBC Awards last yeah, night. Yeah. How did it feel to have that moment to present one of the awards to? Oh man, um, it was dope because again, like I said, like really, in one of the hardest times of my life, all I had was something to write with, some paper, and books. So all I did was read. So if it wasn't for those writers taking the time to create those literary works, that's my dog Rocky. For all those who have dogs that are pain in the asses, he's one of them. But anyway, so for for anybody who's ever been incarcerated, you know the importance of having a good book to pass the time. So those authors, man, some of them I know by name, like Nene Capri, man. I used to write those people, like man, thank you. Like, I read, like, six of your books when I was in the box. Like, if it wasn't for your book, I wouldn't have made it. Like, books are like movies, you know what I'm saying, for yes. somebody incarcerated. Literally. They get passed on like gold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so, to be a part of something like a literary awards where I get to meet the people that inspire me to survive, that gave me mental food every day, man, it's a blessing. I was blessed be given that opportunity well that's amazing because i seen in your energy that you were you know happy you got to sit with um robin lee yesterday oh, yeah. so i think robin lee was scared of me i think i gave her you know some of that rough neck energy i think that's oh, what man. that was i think god damn she wanted to rob that <laughs> she wanted to rob that i sure she had a reflection of what she wanted now let me stop let me leave robin lee alone thank you robin lee very much <laughs> call him <laughs> All right, so um, do you have any, like, new movies? Oh, uh, man, there's so much going on. Um, Snowfall. Snowfall is this summer, y'all. I think July 7th? July 5th, July 5th, July 5th, July 5th. FX, July 5th, I play Ray Ray on FX's new show called Snowfall, produced by John Singleton himself, the man, the myth, the legend. Um, yeah, man, Snowfall. It's going to be crazy. It's about how crack began. Oh, I can't and wait to see true that. true story. I, I can't wait to see it. I man, mean, they I took it there. I need to know. I, I mean, it went there. No, it's 
talk about the CIA. They break down how they started flying it out here. How they was using the military. I mean, come on, man. I need to check this out, man. Yeah, yeah, I gotta check it John out. John Singleton's Be not playing with y'all. He got rebel. He's not playing, man. The man got a message, and I'm, I was just blessed to be a part of that. It was really, really amazing. He really, really went there with this project. I feel you. So, shout out to FX for having the balls to put this show out. <laughs> I can't, yo. I can't wait. Because it, it's like... Every time a new movie come out to right. me, it's like they revealing themselves and right, telling right, us what right, they gonna right. do. That's so, the, that's, but that's the blessing of it. When you have people in position who fought their way in, like John Singleton, who are now in position to tell those stories and not give a fuck, um, and be able to do that, um, that's that's gold, man. And I think more of us need to start stepping up to the plate and telling those true stories, those true compelling stories. That need to be told, and uh, shout out to John Singleton and all his partners for producing something that's true, compelling, and also controversial and conflicting. Because it'll make people look back on that era and question, hopefully, why some of our young black men, who were young black men, are still incarcerated. Yeah, I, I see you want to get into like um, community work and all of that. Like I see that you're. Nah, nah, I, you ain't see that. I mean, someday well, I'm not I do. Saying you, you, someday, let's be clear. I'm not. Right. You know. What I mean? I go for what's personally, what I, what I personally feel affected by, like autism. Yeah. I got an autistic little cousin who I grew up with, so that's a personal thing that I'm affected by. My grandmother died from cancer. Sorry, yeah. Those are personal things, you know what I'm saying? I hate cancer. Anybody dealing with cancer, I'm definitely going to stand up and baffle. them, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those are things I'm personally affected by domestic violence, those things, so I know it seems like I'm in just everything, but it's just that as a young black man, I guess we've been traumatized, so we pretty much do stand for every cause, because we stand for the underdog, so it's probably not a cause I don't stand for it, that I don't know somebody that's dealing with something, <laughs> I relate to it, sadly. So, so um, but with all of this... But I'm not, I'm not, like, into, you know, in, yeah. into, you know, I'm I, not. Should have rephrased that, I see you into illuminating people. Like yeah, illuminating, not sharing. Right. I like, I like teaching. Sharing, yeah. I like sharing information that I feel is conscious and that needs to be shared. But I'm no way a saint. Yes. So when are you gonna um, put out some music so we can get some of those? 2018. Uh, 2018. When the show The Pains airs um, on the OWN network, um, thinking about putting some music out. I just want to make sure the music is me, um, and it's also something that my children can listen to. Honestly. You know what I'm saying? If I don't feel like that's all the way there, I just make music with other people. I collaborate all day. My project is going to be something I feel like everybody can listen to. I dig it. At the end of the day. Yeah. That's going to be dope. Well, dig it with a spoon. <laughs> dig it with a spoon, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this man is a comedian. <laughs> this was fun. I had a ball. Yes. Come back too. Some, some other time. Yeah, so we're getting... I got to go, man. I got to use the bathroom. So where can they find you on social media? They can find me at Marquise Moore. <laughs> man, my name. Google it. Gotta go. Google.